So with the Cyberpunk 2.0 patch update, CDPR added new iconics into the game as well as a couple of other things. Today guys, I bring you all new items that they have added. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So yes, with the latest 2.0 patch, CDPR have added a few new items into the game. They've changed up a few older ones, but today guys, we go over them all, I do believe. Now if I have missed any, please let us know down below within that comment section. Okay, so we're going to start with the Nihan knife. This is on the body of Saburo Arasaka, who you can loot towards the end of the highest mission real early on guys. So if you have started a new playthrough, grab this while you are here. There's also a pistol on the bedside cabinet and there's also guys when you escape this building there is a uh, a katana that goes hand in hand with this Nihan which you'll find on the helipad inside of the helicopter but the two guys up there that you need to take at first so keep that in mind my beautiful people. Now I do believe there is a way to come back here if you pass this point or your save is way past this point like mine is. The problem here though is if you originally looted his body when you get back here up to this building, the penthouse, if you loot his body previously, his body will be empty and he won't have no loot for you. So keep that in mind. Okay, so another new iconic was added in the way of Sasquatch's hammer. Now actually, it was in the game before, but now it is actually an iconic and it's a pretty decent weapon. Um, now this uh, enemy you come across during the mission of I Walk the Line. This mission is also pretty early on. Now during this mission you have the option to fight her when you come to her but she can be a little bit of a pain in the ass because of that regen she has and to destroy that purple crystal on her back. But guys you can sneak past her and grab this iconic weapon as you can see me doing this on screen now. This is the easy way out if you do not want to fight her you can still get her iconic weapon but that choice is yours. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Militech Apogee Sandev, aka the David Martinez one. So this method is basically a way to increase your chances. It's not a guarantee. I know this for certain. But man oh man, it's definitely worth you coming here to try and get this thing because you do not want to miss it. Now before we do go any further, like I said, it's a random spawn. But for most players, you will not see this until I believe you get close to that level of about 40. Now it is sold by some Ripper Ducks. I've seen people mention that it's sold by Victor in the back of Misty's shop who can be found uh, within Watson. But all I'm saying is this is the one that's eluded me so far. Now it is a legendary and it is one I see many people are seemingly getting from this one certain spot. So I'll show it you and hopefully you get that luck. So you need to come to where I am at right here. Now this is the building which beholds the Eretta Thermal Katana, but we will talk about that in a quick second, as this building is a part of a early mission called Disaster Piece. Uh, but I know people will be using the timestamps and they're gonna check out how you get the Eretta. So we'll talk about that in a quick second. You also guys need a minimum of 10 in that technical ability as it's locked behind a door. So on screen now guys, come to this location pinpointed on the map, follow the path I take down. Uh, what I will say is, maybe try to create a save before you open a door, before you go in and grab this thing. I mean, I'm not sure if that still works like it used to, but if you used to create a save, if you didn't get the loot you wanted, you could reload that save and the loot would sometimes rotate. I tried this, it didn't work for me. I'm not sure if it still works, but you can still try it. So 
So as you can see, for me, it wasn't the standout. Now, a trick for more legendaries is when you actually get what you want or you give up trying to get the Sandev, uh, the David Martinez one anyway, once you get those legendaries, sometimes the game creates a auto save after you've grabbed that loot. If this is the case for you, load back up that auto save. This box that you just looted will refill full of legendaries again, as well as those edits. This, like I said, only sometimes happens. It worked for me the first time, didn't the second time. So hey, not everyone can abuse this trick. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the new Thermal Katana, the Aretta. A great weapon for sure, this one literally sets enemies ablaze. Now this weapon you will first come across during your playthrough via the campaign mission called Disaster Piece where you go looking for Evelyn with Judy. Now towards the end of this mission guys, within this building, you're fighting your way through fogs and you will come to this furnace room. Right here on the furnace guys lies this katana. Now if you are past this mission, you can still come back and grab this, but you will need at least a level 20 in your technical ability uh, to open a door to get this katana, as the door used in the mission is now locked and you have to take a different route. But yes, it's the same building we just spoke about with the uh, Sandev, but the route into it and where you go is a little different different so again guys follow where i go on screen now from outside of the building pinpoint it on the map for people who use timestamps and come and get this thing Okay, so next up guys, we have the Dying Light. Now with this one, I ain't certain, but I do believe a few things have changed with the way it looked in its original appearance. I also believe this was originally meant to be a reward for a side gig called Shoot to Thrill. What I can tell you this is not the case right now. This side job rewards you the Lexington X Mod 2 with the Legacy skin. The Dying Light is brought from the NPC who you get this side job from. So come to your mega building apartment in Watson and then follow the path I take to the Second Amendment weapons shop. Here guys speak to Robert Wilson, if you've already done this shoot to fill side job, skip this part, if you haven't, take part. If you get a score of 40 or above, you win the Lexington X Mod 2. But either or, Robert now becomes a vendor for you, he sells you weapons. So here guys, you can simply go and buy the Dying Light iconic pistol from him. Now I ain't sure if this is new, I just believe it's changed up a bit, especially in its appearance. But I'm sure someone knows more than me down below in the comments.
Okay, so we're going to move on from weapons and cyberware and onto a brand new free car. You can literally just go up and grab this one you don't want to miss. It's absolutely amazing. So follow the path I take on screen now, guys. Once you get here, you will be quickly greeted by Johnny Silverhand. Here guys, the car is yours for the taking, because if you come over to this loot box, it beholds not only a legendary most of the time, but also the keys to this amazing free car. Okay, so lastly for today's video, people, we have the secret rewards from the new Trauma Drama Arcade game. Now, I've already made a video on this uh, to make it super easy. I'll link that down below in the video description. But the rewards you get here are the Trauma Team outfit, which is pretty cool. And you also get an amazing ornament toy for your apartment that flies around. So it's as simple as you beating the top score on this game and you receive a text message about it. I say simple, but it definitely isn't simple. What I do now guys is I play out my other video guide so you guys can see what you gotta do, how you do it, and get these rewards. So there are arcade machines, basically in certain parts around Night Sea. But the one I found and used, uh, you can see right here on the screen now. Now what I will say is, you used to be able to reset these arcade machines if you came here and it wasn't the game you wanted uh, by skipping time by 24 hours. That may still work, I ain't too sure. But if you come here and it isn't trauma drama, try skipping time. See if that helps. But yes, this is where I found this game. Now when you come here guys, there can sometimes be a gang members here who you may have to take out first. Okay, so when you start the game, uh, go to that top score section, you will see the top score is 440,000. And let me tell you, to beat this, it is not easy. If you die more than a few times, odds are even if you complete this game, you won't get that top score. So yes, it is very hard. Now if you get top 10 of the leaderboards, you will get a text message. But this isn't the one you want. This means nothing. It actually confused me at first. You need to get top score. To earn these rewards so eventually guys if you do get that top score you also guys don't have to actually complete the game to get the uh, the text message you need as long as you have that top score it doesn't matter if you complete the game or not so if you die with that top score let the timer run down guys back out of the game and you'll get the text message you want so the text message basically asks you to apply to become part of the team but you have to do it via a computer. Now for me, my mega building apartment, although it has a computer, it didn't have the actual trauma team website on it, so I couldn't access it. What I had to do was on this computer, I had to buy a 40 grand apartment in Galen. So that's what I did and that's where I went. There guys, I could access the website. So click their website guys, and on their website, you need to first click on that trauma team members access and click next. From here guys, you need to click on We Want You, the tab of We Want You. 
here you guys scroll to the bottom and click apply. If it gets stuck on processing, click a different tab and come back. You will eventually get a message basically saying you ain't fit for the job, but there's rewards waiting for you. So from here guys, you need to come to the little China medical building in Watson. So fast travel to where I do on screen now people. Now once you get here guys, follow the short path I take. Here you have to scan your hand and then you can open up the box and collect your rewards. You get a trauma uh, team outfit as well as an amazing ornament sort of toy thing for your mega building apartment. So yes guys, a great set of rewards, definitely worth your time in doing this. But there we have it guys, I believe all known new items added with patch 2.0. If I've missed anything specific, please do let me know down below. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.